Hey you guys, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about eyeliner. So this is going to be eyeliner and shadow kind of tips, but mostly eyeliner for people that are beginning in this or just can't quite get it right. So I'm going to share with you some of my tried and true tips. So before we do that, hit that subscribe button and let's do it. All right, you guys, so what inspired this was that e.l.f. recently sent me these little sticker guys, and this is called the Line and Define Eye Tape. They also sent me some beautiful new liners, and I thought to myself, and I get a bunch of questions, I thought to myself, like, let's do kind of a basics and beginners eyeshadow eyeliner tips. Um, I actually loved... Um, I actually loved this idea because I have always recommended, now I would never do this on a client, but um, because I can just freehand it, but if you're doing eyeliner on yourself, it can be really, really intimidating. Also, if you're doing eyeshadow and you're new at this, how, you know, how to get a straight line out here, how, where to know where to stop, uh, you know, all of those things. So when I saw that uh, e.l.f. came out with this, I thought, you know what, that would be fun to kind of do in a video since it is e.l.f., so it's very affordable. Um, and so let's just jump right into it. So basically, when you're doing an eyeshadow look, we talked uh, a lot in my How to Look Younger with One Eye, One Palette, Four Different Looks series I recently um, completed. And we talked a lot about making sure that our eyeshadow doesn't go down here because it drops the eye down and it pulls the attention down and makes kind of the eyes look downturned instead of uplifted, um, which is, in my opinion, something that looks very youthful when the eyes are looking like they are pulled up. So what you do is you can use a piece of scotch tape. You can use tape that is meant for the skin, like medical tape. Um, or you can actually use these little things from e.l.f. I absolutely love these little guys. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tear them in half because they're really long. So I'm just literally going to tear them in half. So they're not going to be like super pretty anymore now on one edge. But I want to talk to you about how to place this. So how to place tape a business card, a three, you know, an index card, uh, you know, scotch tape, medical grade tape or something like this is to you want to follow the line of your natural lash line on the bottom. So if you were to follow a line going all the way up to your uh, brow bone and to where your eyebrow ends, that's where this piece of tape will go. So I usually like to start, in my opinion, in the eye that I like the most. So not everybody's eyes are the same, especially not mine. And so I like to kind of take this eye as my guide and then work this eye to match it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take my little mirror here, is I'm going to line the tape underneath my eyelashes, pull my head back so my hood and wrinkles and stuff start to spread out, and make a line up to where my brow would end once I put my brows on. Um, I have not tried this tape yet, and it doesn't seem to be sticking very well, so let's try this again. All right, got that one to stick. Um, if I was to make something like this, I would like the material to be a little bit softer. This is a little bit hard, but it's going to serve our purpose, and it'll obviously serve our purpose for me having this conversation with you guys. And then the other side, I want to line up as, let's say, as um, the same as the other eye as much as possible. So this eye is smaller. So instead of going straight up, because it would be a different angle, do you see? I'm going to kind of angle it out a little bit, just making sure that these lines are similar. Um, I'm using the actually the new Sigma palette. I really like it. It's um this is the Warm Neutrals Volume 2. It's really pretty. The eyeshadows are really pigmented, but that's not what we're talking about today. So we're gonna use just a big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna just use the white color, which is just this one right here, this little eggshell color, and I'm just gonna go from the inside of my eye light wash up to the brow bone. And what's great about having a piece of tape here is you can go right over it and just know that your line is going to be super clean and you're not going to get eyeshadow down further than you should be having it, which is such goals. 
Now, um, I'm going to be using this color right here, which is called After Hours. And I used this on a video many weeks ago, and you guys were very interested in what this shadow is called and where I was, you know, where'd I get it from. And this is what I did. And all I did was use one color, and I'm going to put it right here in the crease. Again, coming on top of that brow bone, since I do have a hooded deep set eye, I'm going to go on top of that brow bone a little bit. And then go right out to the tape, you guys. Go right out to the tape. And that's literally as pretty and as simple as it is. This shadow palette is just so good. Okay, again, into this crease and all the way out. Okay, perfect. So now let's talk about tight lining. Um, my absolute favorite, I guess, get asked all the time is what is your favorite liner to use for tight lining or lining the inner water, water line? And it is the whole Makeup Forever Aqua XL liners. These actually were created for water dancers, and so they're extremely waterproof. Um, they come in a whole host of colors. This one is a matte brown in number M60, and I almost always tight line with a brown um, or black black, but this one is really, really dark. And so now how you tight line and why you tight line is, we talked about this again before, but you tight line because you want the, ba the base of the lashes to look really dark and to give it some bulk. So everything kind of looks a little bit more defined, a little bit more, um, it stands out a little bit more and gives the eye some more um, structure. And how the best way to do a tight line is is to actually have a mirror down here and then what you want to do is you're looking at your mirror down and you want to gently pull up on your eye get your eyelid out of the way so it doesn't affect your eye so sometimes when if you're too close your eye like starts to twitch you don't want that to happen so what you want to do is you want to pull up and you want to go back and forth with your eyeliner it's really hard to talk and do this and my pressure is really light um, I'm focusing more on the lash line and less on the inside of my eye okay so if you have sensitive eyes that's really important to know and that's one of my favorite things to do is just to leave your eyes lined just like that put on mascara and it's a showstopper every time now a lot of you guys ask how do you stop transferring from the top down to the bottom honestly for the most part these do not transfer but if you have transfer take a little bit of a cotton to you know a cotton bud a q-tip with a little bit of water or just dry and you just got to take it off it's no big deal but if you get a liner like this that does not hardly transfer you're not going to have as much to take off um, but besides that, there is no real way of having, you know, stopping that transfer unless you get a really great formula. There's also a potted one by L'Oreal. There is potted eyeliners, um, and they're fantastic. I'll see if I can remember the name. I have them in my kit. I'll see if I remember my name and I'll, uh, the name, and I'll put it in the description box. All right, so now let's talk about liner. Um, this is the new liners from... Elf, and this is a waterproof metallic liner, and it's in this really pretty color. It has no color on the actual tube, but it is this kind of hunter green blue color. Now, this is going to make your life so much easier. Here, I'll do this side first. What you're going to do is you're going to follow your tape. It's so easy. So you're going to follow your tape from the outside and draw a line in on the outer third of your eye, okay? So just like that, you've driven, drawn a straight line. Now, if you want to make your flick more exaggerated, you're gonna wanna go in a more angled line going up, okay? But for me and my eye shape, my eyes look better when the line is a little bit straighter, and for most people. And do you see the way I'm holding my, uh, my head? I'm leaning back, my mirror is down here, and I'm lining my eyes. When I do this, it helps kind of take all of my creases out. A lot of people actually hold their eye up a little bit or hold their eye this way in line. You can do that as well, but I find by really just kind of manipulating my mirror and my neck or my head, my head, it helps immensely. And so I'm literally just taking my little liner, filling in this blank spot, and it is ready to rock and roll. And then I'm going to, for most people, you can, um, it's a really pretty blue color. 
it's going on really nicely too. I'm only going to line the uh, outside two thirds and I'm going to make the line start a little bit bigger and go a little bit smaller. And if you have a crease right here, like a little hood, go over the hood or stay underneath it. It just depends upon you how big you want the line. Okay, so from here, what I do is I let that kind of the tape kind of sit for a second. And you want to do this whole eye look, the liner with the um, tape, before you put any of your cosmetics on, on your face, like your foundation, your or concealer, because you're going to take all this off and clean up if you have any fallout, which we did not. So I like to actually apply a little bit of mascara first while the tape is on. Blue liner is always fun. It's a great way to wear blue on your eyes and not have it be like a dated look. All right, so let's take it off. Whenever you take off tape, go in an upward motion and pull gently. Look at that. So you have a really nice sharp line out here. Your liner is really nice and sharp. If you have any areas, which this didn't do it at all, but if you have tape, sometimes it'll bleed. You can take a little Q-tip and clean it up but I don't really feel like I need to. I just feel like it just looks really nice and perfected. I love it. So how easy was that, right? <laughs> okay, so I just finished the rest of my makeup um, and I just wanted to show you kind of how to finish this. So you can totally leave it like this. It's up to you. Uh, but in my opinion, it looks a little unfinished when it's so harsh right here. So what I'm telling you to, what I, what I recommend for you to do is take a brush. This is a Morphe 573, just a nothing brush, has nothing on it. I want you to soften this corner just a little bit by going in small circular motions and little back and forth motions just to soften this up a little bit. Same goes for over here. And what that does is it doesn't add any, you know, there's no product on this brush. But what it does is it just kind of softens this up. Now, so, uh, yeah, so you just take a little brush and you just blend those corners out. And that is your look completed. Uh, it's very easy when you use something like this. But again, don't feel like you have to get this. It's just, it sparked my idea. And I was like, that's such a great topic. So I hope that this made it easier for you guys to start out when you're doing obviously liner and eyeshadow, where to know where to stop, kind of keep things in check, because that is a very like kind of bulk of some of my uh, questions I get from you guys. So this is kind of a little basic uh, makeup basic 101, which I love doing with you guys. So thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Lots of love for me to you. Bye you guys.